Uh, welcome back to King's Quest. My name is Usser. We are finding our way through this labyrinth of death. I don't know why you got so upset. Seriously, your kid made it easier. Okay, not sure what the point of that was. Do I have anything? Gift from the hobble pots. You'll find this puzzle is easier without all that extra weight, Mr. Majesty. Will I? What's this do? Oh. Okay. So I have to arrange this side so that it lines up with that side. Alrighty. Oh, I just pick them up? Is that all I need to do? It can't be that easy, can it? Oh, you suck. Alright. Alright. It's too early in the morning for this! All weekend long I've just been playing Dragon Quest, so I haven't had many puzzles that I have to figure out like this. I hate to say it, but this is so much easier alone. Is that a badger statue? Do I need to place it here? Lower half of the badger statue, yes. Okay, so then I've gotta go get the top half of the badger. Don't worry, Mr. Majesty, he'll learn his lesson. Such a shame how parents treat their kids these days. Uh huh. Did I do it? On the first try? Did I do it? Oh. All right, we got the badger head. I think. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a sphinx. I don't know. I think it said it was a badger. Oh my god. Yeah, way too early to be thinking. I don't need a game that's thinking. I should have got Rebel Galaxy so I could just murder things. All right, there you go, badger. That doesn't look like a badger. Looks like a giant I squirrel. Just snap and bring you to the end of the labyrinth, but alas, I lack opposable thumbs. I'm afraid you'll just have to solve this on your own. I of course. Wound, but are you even sure that he's your son? It's not like you're cut from the same cloth. How do you know this Alexander is not an imposter? That's kind of a good question. Okay, cool. I did it. Uh, I didn't really take that much effort to do it. it. It helps once you know that that one at the very top was just a single. Once you get it out of the way, everything else Magic moves around pretty easy. This. What happens if he solves all his stuff with magic? But how did you resolve your fight? I need some tips to get Gart to be nicer to me. Are you sure something else isn't bothering him? Have you tried asking him? Or are you assuming it has to do with you? Well, he's cordial to everyone else. I might dig a little deeper into that. Oh boy.
You're not showing me a way down low to change anything. Really? Now you are. Fine. What's lower? Okay. There this one might be a little easier with two people. Ah. That's where I moved those guys. This one I have to get. Okay, so it's up left. Can we not get them more difficult? Like I said, it's a little bit early for this. Okay, so I thought I had to lead them through each and every spot here, but I don't. I just have to get something through. Like, I didn't understand that... Boink. 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 That's what I need. Unfortunately, now I can't get out. I have to get my way back through it. So that's kind of what I want to do because it'll go up. And I, I was seeing those rocks as barriers. They're only barriers down here. They're not barriers upstairs. So I've got the power. Now what I need to do is figure out how to get myself to bounce around. Come on. And I've got to bounce myself up and left. So this guy has got to be turned a little. Yes. So then I'll bounce here and go straight up. Now I've got to get from this spot. I have to turn that one on and go. Oh boy. Boink. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm okay. I think. I think I'm okay. I think if I do that, I'll bounce this way, bounce up, bounce over, bounce up, and I should be okay. Let's see. Let's see if I'm okay or not. That would have been way easier with two or three or even four people, like someone to use their brains. Because I should not be the one using my brains. Wait a minute. Is it? Yeah, okay. Let's try it. I may not have done this right the first time, or the second time, or the fourth time, but whatever. Boink. And eh, boink. And a boink. And a boink. Yes. This is great and all, but are you sure Gart shouldn't be listening to this? He's the one who started it all. He needs to apologize. It's not always about who's right and who started it, Gwendolyn. Have you tried approaching Gart calmly? You might be surprised what you find. Maybe. Oh, Welcome we made it. Welcome to the riddle room. This is my favorite puzzle. Probably because I helped design it. Great. Great. <clears throat> what am I? I have a head, but no arms to flail. I have no legs, yet I have a tail. Hmm. A snake? Mr. Fancy Cakes, that's what you are. Head and a tail, but no arms and legs. I have no idea. Let's try an hourglass. I don't, I don't know. Don't give that to me. Set it on the altar in the next room. Well, I'd love to give you the answer, but I must. Oh, whatever. 
I don't even know if this is the right answer. Do I die? Yep. Too bad there are no second tries here. You were so close. I was alone. I was cold. I was so isolated. Wait. Oh. Point. All right. I'm not doing well. So much has been failure after failure. Get me out of here. But it won't be that easy. I've got another riddle for you in here. Proceed. What am I? Every morning a noggin I shed, and every evening I regain my head. <gasps> is that? That looks like a sack of flour. What is it? A pillow. Still need more time. I... It's not like your family is waiting or anything. I thought it was a sack of flour. Well, I'm going to have to edit a few things out if I want to make this a manageable video. Are you fucking serious? A word back here, please. Go for it. What am I? I come in different colors. I come in different shapes. Some parts of me are round. Some parts of me are straight. Our picture can be clear, but we love to obfuscate. I hate riddles. You're Mr. Fancy Cakes, that's what you are. A puzzle piece. Right? Grandpa, do you think I'm ready for my first adventure? Of course, dear. But uh, not without your father's permission, of course. Okay. Why did it... Why did it stop right there? If these doors keep getting smaller, am I even going to be able to get through? Like... They're already getting pretty short. Ah, bravissimo. But the show is hardly over. <laughs> Let me have it. What am I? I'm fit for a king and taste very sweet. Thick or thin served for breakfast, Graham's favorite treat. Well, it's gotta be pie, right? I have a feeling I'm gonna die. But I used pie for the first thing, to beat Manny. So pie should count. Do they have popcorn flavored jelly beans? Not like I had it. So, I had to look it up. And it was literally a pun. His favorite treat, which I thought about, but they didn't have any, was choco chip pancakes. Well, now I've got a pan and a cake, so it's a pancake. One final riddle, if you would. No! What am I? I am higher than the shining stars and greater than the land or sea. What's the one thing that's worth breaking the bonds of family? Is there anything? There'd be nothing Look worth breaking the bonds of family, like... Why that little peddler keeps ranting about it. Nothing. Oh. Mm, I have to admit I'm surprised you got that one right. You should really practice what that riddle teaches. Perhaps the Sphinx was right. I needed to rethink this puzzle of parenting. Excellent work, Mr. Majesty. You are a natural. Wonderful. Someone had removed all the pieces from the board. <sighs> I'd have to puzzle out the path. Lucky for me, it appeared all the pieces were already set in their proper rotation. Okay, so I have to start... I can't move those puzzle pieces, so I have to, like... 
visualize how it goes. Damn. But what am I looking at here? Like, so if they put that on there. Congratulations, oh. Graham. You have won the labyrinth. I was just going through and picking a direction there at the end. Like, do I go up? Do I go down? Do I go left? Do I right? Okay, I failed. Let's try a different direction. Oh. Uh. I don't even care what you have to say, Melody. Sphinx. Fuck off. I want out of this shithole. Team Sovereign, assemble. Oh my God. Stop with the Sovereign. Now. I'm not a fan of abstract art. How do you know it's abstract art? Maybe it's a piece of the puzzle we need to go forward. I'm pretty sure I could sculpt that. Probably. It's creepy, though. I hope I made it in time. Rosella? Belenice? Where are you? What about Alexander? Just warped me over there. Instead of having me run the whole time. Okay. hear that frozen song it's getting closer don't you dare play let it go right. okay can you stop whatever you're doing to my wife welcome to my gallery v? you're mistaken my name is isabella i'm not sure i agree well i sign all my work that way so you will address me as such noted and you are... Graham. King Graham. Compassionate, don't you remember? No. Sorry. It doesn't ring a bell. But... We had an adventure in Tanalore. You saved me from that quicksand? Oh, the Hobblepots. You remember the Hobblepots, right? I, I rescued you from that... This... Tower? I assure wow. you it wasn't me. And I recommend dropping the subject immediately. My apologies. Hmm. So now what? It's been a while since I've had a visitor. Did you enjoy my puzzles? Nope. I did. I always have. And the art? Where did you learn to sculpt? Oh, a friend taught me. Ages ago. I see. And hmm. what brings you to my ice palace? I was told that if I made it to the center of the labyrinth, my family would be here waiting for me. Do you know where they are? Oh, the Sphinx must be playing a game with you. I love my best friend, but she can be quite silly. What? Did you think those puzzles were designed to keep people out of this tower? <laughs> I created this labyrinth to keep people in. I don't like it when my friends run away. It's gotta be V. No idea you were holed up here. We would have come here sooner. Oh, it's quite all right. The Sphinx was there for me when all my other friends moved on. She gave me this crown and dubbed me queen. Now I rule mm. this tower. Do you? Where did you take Rosella and Valenice? Valenice? Now that's a name that sounds familiar. She's here, you say. You're no, sculpting no, no, her that, right over the. Well, I'm sorry, I haven't seen them. You'll have to file a complaint with the Sphinx. Oh, I've got a few choice words for that Sphinx. She's back this way, right? Where are you going? I told you no one ever leaves, right? <gasps> Friends, escort our new addition to the carving room. Let me go. <laughs> 
I demand you release me. She got creepy after she got the ice hand. Some vacation this turned out to be. Is that gonna go away or is it permanent? Is that why the old man's like sick? This carving room held some pretty dark secrets. Are you sure? I didn't want to know where all those ice blocks came from. Uh, maybe you do. King Graham the compassionate. If I squinted, it almost looked like an avocado. Avocado! I could be remembering this wrong, but I couldn't see down here from the top level. Another ice palace curiosity, I guess. I hmm. was cold, upset. I didn't see any way forward. Then things got worse. Excellent work. You, my friend, are a natural. Where's my father? Oh, Mr. Majesty. You've beat him here by a mile. He's trapped in a puzzle and can't figure out the solution. Hmm. Alexander! Stop! It's a trap! Alexander! That's great work, Gwydion. Thanks. It's actually been a while since I've been called that. I kind of miss it. That name does suit you. Now, hmm. just a few more puzzles and you will solve the level. You lying little Your bitch. Your family is anxiously waiting for you at the top of that tower. No. Leave him out of this! Hmm. We might need a hint on this one. Oh, thank the shining stars he's no good at puzzles. That should do it. Okay. That was actually impressive. Oh, Gwydion, I just wish your father could be here to celebrate your win. Pity that he only you appreciates evil, talents that are exactly torturous like his own. Bitch. I, however, love watching your clever magic and encourage you to use it on this last puzzle. That's not true! It's never been true. How can I prove it to you? There was no way I was going to lose my son again. Wanna bet? I was wrong for expecting him to carry out my legacy. I needed to show him that I loved him for who he is and who he wanted to become. If only I could just snap and share the unconditional love burning inside my heart. You're not letting me do yeah. anything. Perhaps I could. I needed to snap like I never snapped before. I needed to get fired up. Come on, fireball. Ah! Yeah! Dad, was that you? The flames cleared up the ice spell. But that was hardly on my mind at that moment. Where Son, is she? I love you. Just the way you are. I wouldn't make any sudden moves if I were you. I could say the same for you. <laughs> Do you think your tiny human arrow will pierce my skin? Maybe your eyeball. It's not your hide I'm aiming for. Well then. Take your move. I have no fucking clue. Oh, go ahead. Like, I was really going to aim for her eye. Morons! Tiny arrows will never defeat the divine intellect of the Sphinx. I thought you were a man of the mind, Graham. Stop toying with the Sphinx. Where are Rosella and Valenice? Trust me, the games are done and my playtime is over. The Ice Queen will deal with your family now. Thanks for the entertainment. Yeah, but we could cast fireballs. 
Did you find anything particularly strange about that overgrown kitty? You mean besides the fact that it talks, thinks itself pretty clever, and is incredibly manipulative? Mm-hmm. Manny! I think that furball was sipping from this pile of Cosmo lotion. It would appear so. It would be irresponsible for us to leave this pile of potions here like this. I think you need to set it ablaze. Are you sure? You keep doing you, Alexander. You had to make this cheesy. Yep. We have to find the girls. Give me a little fuel for the fire. Find who? Take the shining stars, you're alive. I could say the same for you. <laughs> the Sphinx told us that you were both trapped at the top of that tower. Oh, did he now? Don't you mean she? Nope. The Sphinx is Manny. <sighs> Figures. And the Ice Queen. Yes, I suspected as much. All the puzzles are the essence of V. <clears throat> I knew for certain when I found this. We need to get out of here before we all get iced. I am not leaving without V. The only way out is back through the labyrinth. <laughs> Let's solve it together this time. On the way out of that labyrinth, we decided to pair up based on who would best be able to solve each room. Well, this looks impossible and dangerous. I hope we make it out alive. Nonsense. You're just saying that because no one ever had. Only I could see both of the lines. After being tormented about Alexander for 18 years, it was about time I gave my daughter the full attention she deserved. I mean, up. Got it. Yep. You have to watch what I'm doing. Okay. Dad, remember that one time we set up that Yeti on a blind date? Yes. What about it? Oh, nothing. I, I just like to remember it. Is anybody's curious? Yes, I do still have some appetizers stashed in one of my pockets. Okay, so I gotta get her through it, and then I have to go back and like get me through it. Spiky sort of fire. Okay, so now I can go all the way back down. And then get up. Okay. That that went a little bit better. All right, let's you hand down the crown to Aunt Rosella. She was always off on her own adventures with Edna. Then she had Gart, and she was much more interested in training him to be king. Looks like V had designed us into a puzzle death trap. Choose our strategy. I'll go down to the board, but you better keep me safe. Always. <laughs> the Ice All right. were not highly skilled wits players like Manny. They only moved side to side, and they never moved shields. I needed to navigate Nice to the tile with a door to win. Failure would not be good for our marriage. You're going to have to guide me. I can't see the whole board. Okay. There, finally! Oh my god, the big thing was I needed to get all the fucking statues out of the way. Oh. As soon as this puzzle's over, that's all for this one. I killed myself far, far more than it ever could have killed me by not having the statues in the we proper place. It. Not quite. Hello, Manny. Oh, 
would you kindly? Of course, friend. Everybody freeze! <gasps> oh, bravo, yes. I command you to release us now, Sphinx. All of us. Our bonds are thicker than this brittle ice. Um, dear, I think you meant release us, Mananan. No, that's only what his slaves call him. Let us go, Manny. Your cover's blown. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Your new family figured out my greatest puzzle. <laughs> I don't know that it was that good of a puzzle, but... It took you long enough, morons. That accent is not the easiest on the vocal cords. Ugh. And you, Gwydion. What a disappointment you turned out to be. I don't know what I was expecting. Disappointments run in your bloodline. You were supposed to restore Daventry from the cesspit it's become. What were you thinking? Your little cat spell was just a minor setback. You should have known I have plenty of other slate friends with magical abilities. I raised you better than this. Now, your reckless behavior leaves me no other option but to freeze out you and your entire lineage. It's time to start a new legacy. Enough, Manny. Your abuse ends now. You took away my life, my joy, and my worth. And when I left, I chose not to be your slave anymore, to move on and find my own happiness, my own life. Now I know that destroying you won't bring back my childhood. But if it will save another innocent child, then I will melt the fur right off your face. Do not talk to my best friend that way. Good thing I'm ambidextrous. No, you might melt me. I hate that name. B, I know my friend is in there. Stop this. We can fight this cold together. Don't listen. <coughs> Listen to her. She's trying to manipulate you, my darling. She's not your friend. Friends don't abandon you. Damn you, Manny! Did I ever leave you? V, if I knew what was happening to you, I would have rushed to be by your side. I just felt so busy with the castle and the kids. Must and the... be nice to have such things to worry about. <gasps> Mom, should I blast her? Stay calm, Alexander. Princess B from Eastern Kalima, I need you to remember! Don't fall for her tricks. Your Majesty, listen to me. Your real friend. The one who gave you your friendship crown. Should I have given it to someone else? I could always crown another queen, you know. That might be the wrong thing to say. Niece, what have I done? All is forgiven. Come here. Ah! You monster! <laughs> Holy Run shit! Here, Alexander, burn his hide! No, Mom, I've got a better idea. This again? Dad, guide my shot. You got it, kiddo. Uh. Take your best shot, Gwydion. My name is Alexander. I hope that came close. Another kitty cat cookie. <laughs> Looks like you missed the mark again. Actually, that shot was just feline. <laughs> oh boy. How clever. A pup. I don't feel very well. Oh, I thought you liked the taste of cat cookies. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
What did you wait for it? Imbeciles, this is the end of this. And from meow on, <coughs> Sarge, not again. Oh, please continue. <laughs> meow, hold on one second. <laughs> Hairball. <laughs> <laughs> ah, forget it. Meow, you'll need to deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no. Not more puzzles! We no! Last time. This time I figured Alexander <laughs> could just blast us out. Blast us out? But wouldn't that ruin the integrity of the puzzle? No, no. Let's beat this straight up. My son was finally taking to these puzzles, and I couldn't have been a prouder papa. Fuck! Now's not the time to get all noble! Fuck! Alright, well that'll be all for this one. We'll finish some other puzzles some other time. Oh my god, my brain. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you can see whenever I upload new videos. Stop by Facebook, stop by Twitter, get all the latest news there. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you on the next one. Bye!